Well, Election Day is here, and did you know that weather does impact voter turnout? So let's kind of put some of these facts together. This actually coming out of the Journal of Politics. This is from the August 3rd issue in 2007. One inch of rain is found to reduce voter turnout by about 1%. And when you add in snow, snowfall decreases turnout by about a half percent. Basically, the bottom line to this, without getting into the kind of convoluted jargon of this particular study, is more rain or snow than average. And that usually equates to lower voter turnout. I've got a full write up on our website, WREX.com. You can learn more and read all about it and see where some of the survey and study information actually did come from here in the Journal of Politics. Today, we're looking at sunny skies, so nothing to stop you from heading out the door and voting. If you haven't done so already, mostly clear earlier this morning at 34 degrees, 62, that forecast temperature at noon. Plenty of sunshine, mostly clear as we get into the seven o'clock hour. Of course, as those polls begin to close, temperatures back into the lower to middle 50s. In terms of the national outlook, just take a look at this, how quiet things are going to be. Not much in terms of rainfall, and there is a reason for that. I'll show you that expansive area of high pressure in just a moment. Let's take a look here at State and Main Street Cam. I want you to stop what you're doing and come to your television set and really just take in this kind of moment of zen as the sun comes on up. Sunrise 633, and we'll see plenty of sunshine here as we go through the morning into the afternoon. Temperatures gradually climbing into the upper 50s by the 11 o'clock hour. If you're maybe taking an early lunch to maybe go vote, plenty of sunshine though as we go through the afternoon. Highs top out in the low to mid 60s. You see that here by the one o'clock hour. Temperatures five to 10 degrees or so above average for the first time in, I, I don't even know exactly how long it's been. We're talking about above average temperatures for a change. Satellite radar looking fairly quiet, widening out the view. And the reason why becomes pretty clear. High pressure in control of not only our forecast locally, but really all the way up to the US Canadian border as far uh, east as the eastern uh, seaboard as well. Some shower and thunderstorm chances are possible though for Arizona and Utah. That jet stream located well to our north, meaning quiet weather in general. 65 for today. Clear sailing, warmer and breezy conditions will stick around. I say breezy, but it won't be as blustery as what it was yesterday. Southwesterly winds could gust occasionally to around 20 miles per hour. 36 currently in Galena with sunshine, 39 in Freeport with more sunshine, 40 degrees in Monroe with those clear skies. We're sitting in the mid 30s here in Rockford, so we're kind of cooler than places like Freeport and Monroe to our west. 31 currently in Rochelle and 30 in DeKalb. 45 degrees as we go into the overnight tonight. Few passing clouds. Keep in mind this temperature is a little bit closer to where we should be for our afternoon highs uh, as compared to our afternoon highs for tomorrow. 66 for tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, breezy conditions will stick around though, gusts to 25 miles per hour. Really much of this week keeps those gusty winds uh, on occasion here from south out of the southwest direction, 20 to 25 miles per hour. Today, tomorrow, Thursday, all the way into Friday. Rain chances do return though, Sunday into Monday. Let's have a look at that most accurate 10 day forecast and really see if those rain chances stick around at least through the middle of next week, it does look like we'll see those rain chances kind of off and on. Not a complete and total washout, though, through the first half of next week.